this is HGJ Halloween and today I am back again with another unboxing video and today's is gonna be pretty fun I figured we went really hard right off the bat with Fright in the Box one of my favorite props of the year also quite a large complicated setup so I thought we would take it easy today just open up mommy's favorite who it comes in this very nice compact small box and I'm sure she won't be super complicated to set up but before I get into it I do just want to say uh, please be sure to support my music there will be a link down in the description I know a lot of you guys have been giving me so much love and support there'll be a link to my Spotify my Apple music and my Tyler Hunt Music YouTube page. You just heard a snippet of my newest song, Steal Our Love, but I have so much more planned, so many songs written. I have a song planned in September. I have a music video to Steal Our Love coming soon. And all of your guys' support on the music stuff makes it worth it. It's a passion that I've been really getting into, and I don't plan to slow down. It'll be kind of an all-year-round thing that you can support. Also, ring that notification bell because I'm going to be doing so many props this year. I was able to get every single prep I wanted at my local stores, even though I had that scare during my flagship tour that I wasn't going to be able to get them. But I did, so I have them all here for you. So there's a lot to look forward to. All right, so without further ado, let's crack open Mommy's Favorite. Now... I know that a concern with her is a lot of them that they've been opening up um, that I've been seeing have a distorted face. Now, clearly, she doesn't come set up in this box. Let me get a good shot of it because it's small and far away. Um, let me get it focused in on it. So, clearly, she doesn't come set up in this box. It's very small, as you can see, compared to my hand there. Mommy's favorite si uh, side image of her right here. The box does look super cool, um, but unlike our little girl from last year, Abandoned Annie, she clearly doesn't come all the way set up, and I think this is causing some of them to have a smushed head, so hopefully we'll luck out and not have to deal with that, but let's pop her open here. She was actually the first prop, first new prop I believe we saw in that teaser video. Now, it actually has quite a lot of pieces here. Look, we've got... Now, I'm going to make sure I keep everything in focus now. We've got an arm with some wrap around it. I'll get that all off later. Uh, let's see. It's kind of all just wanting to come out all at once. Yeah, it's all just kind of falling out, so I guess I'll just go through. Oh, wow, okay. Now, my the face on mine is looking quite... Quite perfect here. Let me show you each of these pieces. We've got her control box, a clothing piece right here. One of the arms is already in there. Um, the clothing piece comes already on top of a frame that I can feel. That's that right there. And we've also got the head. And I gotta say, Mine is actually looking pretty freaking cool, and I don't see much distortion on it. Look at that, guys. Mommy's favorite for 2020. Get a focus on it. She actually looks pretty freaking cool in person. Now, one thing I kind of remembered at Flagship was that that one had some drips on the eyes, or maybe just some of the ones that I've seen in the stores have had drips in the eyes. I could swear I remember black dripping and I don't know if that was just a difference in some of the models or if that was a, dif a difference in the uh, um, prototype version although I recall in the video we saw it looked just like this with just the black circles around the eyes I remember commenting on how it was looked very simple but I kind of forgot that it doesn't come with those uh, drips on the eyes I kind of liked those but anyways at least the face is not distorted and the face by the way is made of a really solid plastic material. So, I mean, if it came distorted, you're kind of screwed. I thought it was gonna be made, look how thick it is, how thick this plastic is. It's very much a hard plastic. And I, I figured since they were coming so distorted that it must have been made of a softer plastic, but this certainly almost seems like it would just snap if it bent. So maybe they've changed it up, I'm not sure. Um, and here, I know some of you guys will be interested in this. These are the instructions. Let me pop them open real quick. Here we go. Mommy's favorite instructions. Very simple. Only A, B, C, D, E, and F. We've got six parts. 
I guess that one arm is supposed to already come connected. So that's very simple. And we literally have five steps. So I think it's gonna be a nice, relaxed setup. Unlike Fright in the Box, which was quite the production, I will say, but still absolutely love that prop. So here's all of the stuff we just unboxed. Let's get in to setting her up. So the first step is quite literally to place the base on a flat surface. So we have that right here. And then very simply, we need to insert the pole with the control box right here, which is part B, as you can see, into that little notch right there. So looks to be a very simple snap lock attachment. So actually it's gonna go this way because the snap lock is already on the base. So the side with the hole, it's gonna go there. That's gonna snap lock in. Um, you can see the connection back here, but we actually want the longer part of this space here to be facing the front. Now we can put the entire um, dress piece that already comes with a frame inside of it and it already comes with the left arm and hand. We can put that entire thing onto this spring lock at the top of the pole with the control box. Not sure how tall it's actually gonna get here. See, there's a pole we can unveil underneath of here that has a little hole on it. Oh, she's actually gonna be facing this way. Um, so, gotta correct myself there with the direction she's facing. She just happens to be facing the side that's actually shorter, um, which can't really change that because uh, there's only one direction these poles can each snap lock, so I guess that's how it is. Now we can actually put the other arm in, but I got confused here. Um, this is the back side. I thought this bow was the front, so this is the back. So what I said initially, which is that the long part of the base is the front here. Um, I just looked at the diagram, and the bow is actually on her back side, which is odd. I thought the bow would be nicely positioned on the front, but clearly the thumb is supposed to be facing forward. So this is her front side. See the collar here has the Velcro strip on the back. But now we can put this other arm in, which is her um, whisper arm. So let's go ahead and do it. I had to take some plastic off of these arms, by the way. There was some plastic wrap. So let's fish this in through and Connect it using the prongs, is what they call it. I always call it a fork, a classic fork connection. There you go, looks like the arm is in about the right position, but they are poseable, pretty sure. They both can be adjusted, but they came pretty right. And our very last step here is just to put the head in. So here is the head. Uh, there's a fork connection right here. And she actually comes up pretty tall once you get her all put together. Even though she comes in that small box, don't be deceived. You know, she's up to my, over my waist. And we've got her little collar, just sit it like that, pull this sticker off. Um, there is also a Velcro strip in the back of her collar here to tighten that up. There you go. And guys, that's mommy's favorite. Mine's got some wild hair. Um, now obviously, we wanna fix this before I show you guys her and get the hair situated however you would like. She has a bow right here, so that is the unboxing and setup of mommy's favorite. Her arms are poseable, so you wanna go ahead and make sure that this one with the finger sticking up is right over the mouth there, and then it looks really good. Looks like she's shushing you, which is appropriate for her phrases. This one, I'm just gonna keep to the side, but I actually tested it being like facing out. You can do whatever you want with it, really. You can make it like grabbing at you or just leave it down by her side. Her control box here, we've got a volume knob. I'm gonna make sure that it's all the way up, which is this way. So let's turn that all the way up. We'll turn her into the on position. And we have an adapter here, but she's also battery compatible but I'm just gonna plug her in and I'm gonna plug that into her control box right here and then plug it into an outlet and see mommy's favorite. All right, let's test her out. Plugging it in right here. Ooh. 
You don't want to wake up my mother. She's been sleeping for a long time. <laughs> Can you keep a secret? <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I thought it totally was broken there, um, but that's why I don't follow these videos as if it's an instructional setup because I completely forgot to plug in these two wires right here. Uh, just saw that now. I'm sure that was in the instructions, but that was my bad. So let me plug her in again. Guys, now that I'm looking at it, I actually don't even see it saying wire. We just have place the base, insert pole into control box, place the dress, insert pole, it, it literally, I don't even see it saying plug in the wire. Correct me if I'm wrong here, but I guess that maybe they left that out. Let's plug her in again here. There you go. You don't want to wake up my mother. She's been sleeping for a long time. <laughs> Can you keep a secret? <laughs> Shh. Now, it seems as if Mine's speaker is kind of scratching a bit. You don't want to wake up my mother. She's been sleeping for a long time. <laughs> Can you keep a secret? <laughs> Alright guys, that is going to be it for today's video on Mommy's Favorite. I'm glad that everything turned out alright there. It was just a wire that I had not plugged in, although it didn't say it in the instructions, so it really wasn't my fault. But we got it figured out and I'll be sure to have that in my instructional setup. I'm also glad that the face on mine is actually looking pretty perfectly shaped. So no issues there whatsoever, which means I'll be able to get a good demo of her, uh, which you would have already seen. Although I do have some kind of scratchiness in the control box, but we'll just deal with it. Doesn't matter, not a huge deal. And she probably has an external speaker function anyways. So guys, that is mommy's favorite setup. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Be sure to check out my Spotify link down in the description, like I said at the beginning. It's been something that I really have just been having fun um, updating for you guys and putting out new songs. And I plan to do it consistently each year, release five to six songs with music videos, lyric videos, all that good stuff. And hopefully you like what I have been giving you guys. So please be sure to support that, stream my music. Also, you'll be able to find Mommy's Favorite and anything else you want from Spirit Halloween this year on my official Spirit Halloween affiliate link, which will help out me and the channel at no extra cost to you. And in fact, there's a free shipping link down there. You can also buy the Skull Fire Logs, a really awesome ceramic skull, to put into a fireplace for your Halloween party. There will also be links to all of my social medias if you want to follow me on my HGJ Halloween Instagram where I update you guys on what videos are to come and do lots of live streams. You can also follow me on Tyler Hunt Music to get sneak peeks of my new songs and photo shoots. And also be sure to check out the HGJ Halloween merch shop where you can buy HGJ Halloween t-shirts, mugs, and pillows, and etc. Alright guys, thank you all so much for watching today's unboxing. Be sure to turn on that notification bell and stay tuned. I will see you in the next one. <laughs>